Hello Peaches! Welcome back to Dear Peachy. Many of us can relate to the struggle of finding the perfect dressing style. It's a constant battle, isn't it? Questions like, what's the right attire? Or does this outfit truly reflect who I am? Often plague our minds. Sure, you've probably figured out how to choose clothes that flatter your body shape, but sometimes you put on an outfit and think, this just doesn't capture my essence. We understand that some of you might feel uncomfortable in certain styles. Maybe you've been pushed into ultra-feminine attire when you prefer a more relaxed simple look. Or perhaps you wish to embrace a more feminine style to exude allure. Or sometimes you just want to find that perfect balance of both worlds, but it feels like an impossible mission. You're torn between loving feminine and masculine pieces. The truth is every clothing item embodies both feminine and masculine traits at the same time, you can be masculine while wearing feminine garments. The fusion of feminine and masculine elements in fashion is a well-known formula that has been embraced by style icons such as Zendaya, Rihanna, and Bella Hadid. Beyond being a trend in everyday outfits, this combination is a recurring theme on fashion runways as well. Esteemed designers like Ralph Lauren and Bottega Veneta have skillfully incorporated this blend to create sophisticated, high-end looks that beautifully showcase their designs. What truly defines the perfect blend of both feminine and masculine elements in an outfit? Let's examine a few examples below. Do you feel that these examples successfully encompass the styles of both genders? But why do these outfits leave you with the feeling that the overall look is disconnected or disjointed? Whether you're a fan of a harmonious mix of both feminine and masculine attire, or you lean towards the extremes of ultra-feminine or ultra-masculine, our video today will provide you with an easy go-to formula to help you navigate your path to the perfect style. Keep on watching if you're interested. As usual our video is divided into several parts, you may refer to the timestamps for the following sections. In the realm of women's fashion, the term feminine fashion is quite self-explanatory. It refers to outfits that exhibit characteristics traditionally associated with women or girls. On the other hand, masculine outfits in this context doesn't necessarily mean exclusively wearing clothing from the men's section. It also includes clothing items that embody qualities of gender neutrality, breaking away from traditional gender norms and stereotypes. For instance, a tall dress clearly showcases more feminine traits, while a leather jacket exudes masculine energy. Now, what about this skirt? Do you believe it leans more towards feminine or masculine traits? However, when we place this skirt in comparison to the other two skirts here, it appears to carry a lower level of feminine energy than the one on the left, yet it's less masculine than the one on the right. To identify the gender traits of a clothing item, we can follow a simple and systematic approach that considers four aspects, structure, fabric material, color or pattern, and decorative elements of the outfit item. Let's start with the structure, which is relatively straightforward. There are two key elements to remember within this aspect, the silhouette and the length of the clothing. Take for example, the maxi skirt on the far left. It boasts the most intricate silhouette with multiple layers of ruffles that create flowing curves, thereby amplifying its feminine traits. Moving to the skirt in the middle, it features a less intricate structure in terms of silhouette, with a cleaner, more tailored fit. This still retains a sense of feminine energy, although it may be slightly weaker compared to the previous skirt. Finally, the skirt on the far right has not only eliminated complex design elements but also adopted a straight-cut structure. This design choice positions it as the most masculine skirt among these three based on its structural characteristics. From this comparison, we can deduce that clothing items with less curvy or flowy structures tend to embody a higher level of masculine energy. Now, let's turn our attention to the aspect of length. In this comparison, we've selected dresses that share a similar silhouette structure and are adorned with floral prints. However, there's a noticeable difference in the length of these dresses, with the first dress being the shortest and the last dress the longest. As we observe this progression, it becomes evident that the longer the dress, the more it exudes a sophisticated, goddess-like charisma. Longer dresses tend to appear more mature, and in some cases, a certain level of coldness. This phenomenon is relatable to what we observe with female celebrities on red carpet events. When they don long dresses with trailing hems, such dresses exude an opulent aura that often keeps people at a respectful distance. Conversely, 
Dresses in shorter lengths tend to convey a cute and refreshing aura, which feels more down-to-earth and approachable. Therefore, when we combine these two dimensions, silhouette and length of an outfit item, we can create a graph to better understand their relationship. On the x-axis, which is the horizontal line, we'll place the silhouette of the garment. This axis will represent the complexity and straightness of design cuts, with more intricate and curvy designs on the left, and straighter, simpler designs on the right. On the y-axis, representing the vertical line, we'll position the length of the outfit. As we move down the y-axis, the length of the outfit becomes progressively longer. This graph will help us visualize how these two aspects interact to define the overall style and energy of an outfit. Let's apply some real-life examples to this graph to provide a clear understanding. Starting with the dress in the upper left corner, it has the shortest length and the most intricate silhouette structure. As a result, this outfit embodies the strongest feminine qualities. Conversely, the outfit in the lower right corner exudes the most masculine energy. It features the longest length and a clean, straight-cut structure. Finally, the remaining examples placed in the upper right and lower left corners represent a harmonious balance between both gender traits. These outfits strike a blend that captures both feminine and masculine qualities seamlessly. Remembering these two key elements, silhouette and length, will undoubtedly provide you with a more informed and insightful analysis during your next outfit hunting adventure. The fabric material of a clothing item plays a crucial role in how it's perceived, and it can also influence the overall structure of the garment. When we compare three different button-down blouses with similar colors and silhouettes, it becomes apparent that they offer similar fits, yet they differ in terms of weight and structure, especially as you move from left to right. The fabric on the left appears to be more lightweight and drapey, which contributes to the soft curves and flow in the overall silhouette. On the other hand, the fabric on the right is denser and more structured, allowing it to maintain a defined shape. This characteristic gives it a heavier and more structured look, which in turn, carries the strongest androgynous quality among the three. The choice of fabric can significantly influence the overall style and perception of an outfit. Indeed, the weight of the fabric is a critical factor that can shape the gender traits of your clothing items. Take, for example, the dress on the right, crafted from tall. Tall is lightweight and poofy, which imparts an ingenue and energetic aura to the dress. In contrast, the middle and left dresses are made from silk and cotton canvas, which have better drape and more weight. This weightier fabric choice gives these dresses a mature and sophisticated charisma. Color and pattern are two of the most influential factors in determining whether a garment leans towards the feminine or masculine category. As seen in the example with Zendaya wearing a tux in both pictures, the color of her outfit significantly alters the overall aura. Color choices can convey a wide range of emotions and energies. Furthermore, the prints or patterns on the fabric also play a pivotal role in shaping the impression of our clothing. In general, fabrics with solid colors tend to exude a cooler and more reserved vibe, while smaller and intricate color blocks can give off a warmer and more inviting aura. For instance, we have a sundress with similar length and silhouette design, the dress on the right is made with only one color, so the visual attention is less dispersed, making the look more mature and reserved, with a higher sense of masculinity. This phenomenon can also help us understand why the grunge style often exudes a cool and distant vibe that keeps people at a distance, while feminine and girly styles tend to emit a more down-to-earth, girl-next-door kind of charm. Animal prints have made a comeback and are often associated with a more mature and edgy style. They can be effectively incorporated into a wardrobe to add a touch of masculinity to an outfit, especially for those who prefer a mature style. On the other hand, polka dots and floral prints have a timeless charm that exudes adorableness and fun. These patterns are often categorized as having strong feminine traits and can enhance the overall femininity of an outfit. Lastly, the presence of decorative elements in a garment can indeed have a significant impact on its overall gender representation. Here are some classic examples of decorative elements associated with masculine and feminine traits. Masculine decorative elements often include metallic accessories, leather accents, studs, and big industrial-style pockets. These elements contribute to a more rugged and masculine aesthetic. On the other hand, feminine decorative elements encompass bows, frills, lace, puffy sleeves, and more. These elements add a touch of elegance and femininity to a garment. When you're out shopping for clothes, 
paying attention to these decorative elements can help you better align your choices with your desired style. The more elements from the same category that are incorporated into a piece, the stronger its feminine or masculine expression will be. So, consider these details when curating your wardrobe to achieve your desired fashion statement. As demonstrated in the example here, you can observe how the feminine decorative elements increase as we move from the blouse on the left towards the one on the right. This progression adds warmth and enhances the girly vibes of the outfit. It's a clear illustration of how decorative elements can play a pivotal role in shaping the overall style and gender representation of a garment. Once you've mastered these techniques and gained a deep understanding of the four main aspects that influence the gender traits of clothing, you'll be well equipped to quickly identify and assess the style and energy of different garments. And now it is time for us to put our knowledge into practice. Let's take a look at these everyday outfit items that tend to lean towards the feminine side in terms of structure, fabric material, color, prints, and decorative elements. But what if there are days when you want to dial down the ultra-feminine vibes and create a more balanced look? What are the similar pieces that you should look for? We can apply the knowledge we've gained about clothing aspects to tone down the overtly girly feel and blend these pieces seamlessly into a gender-balanced look. By altering the warm colors of the dress and simplifying its intricate prints, we arrive at the dress in the middle. Further removal of decorative elements transforms this dress into a more gender-neutral piece. Now, moving on to the shorts, when we strip away the lace, we land at the shorts placed in the middle. And when we opt for fabrics that are more structured and capable of maintaining their shape, we successfully restore the balance between both gender traits. If you're a fan of floral prints but want to balance the femininity and masculinity of a piece, there are various aspects you can adjust. Begin by removing the feminine decorative elements of the blouse. Next, straighten out any parts with frills or excessive curves which brings us to the blouse in the middle. And finally, by opting for straighter cuts in other areas of the blouse, you can achieve the last piece on the right. This version retains femininity through the floral prints and flowy fabric but features a cleaner cut that resembles men's wear, achieving a harmonious balance between masculine and feminine qualities. Now, let's transform these garments that lean towards the masculine side into a more feminine look. When all four aspects align with masculinity, the outfit can feel stiff and challenging for some people to pull off the look. By removing the masculine decorative elements from these baggy cargo pants and making them more form-fitting to accentuate our curves, we can transform them into a pair of flare jeans. Similarly, replacing the plaid fabric with a solid color and opting for softer, flowy materials has significantly feminized this blazer, making it a more feminine and comfortable piece to wear. By eliminating the holes on the denim jacket, altering it to be form-fitting, and shortening its length, we have turned it into a chic and sexy garment that's perfect for feminine styles. In summary, every clothing item can be adjusted to appear more feminine or masculine. If you desire a balanced wardrobe that incorporates both feminine and masculine traits, it's advisable to steer clear of garments that are extremely feminine or masculine. Being mindful of the changes in the four main aspects we discussed earlier will be highly beneficial in selecting the perfect pieces to enhance your wardrobe and express your desired style effectively. Now, let's delve into selecting wardrobe pieces based on their femininity and masculinity traits to align with your visual archetypes and personal preferences. We'll also explore how to effectively incorporate garments with different gender traits to create harmonious and visually appealing looks. When it comes to mixing and matching pieces from both genders, there's a common misconception that suggests pairing a masculine piece on the bottom with a feminine top. However, the truth is that these highly contrasting combinations often demand a higher level of expertise, both in terms of garment selection and personal style. They tend to create a strong collision between the two gender traits rather than achieving a harmonious balance. The real balance can be achieved when both pieces, whether they are tops or bottoms, inner or outer wear, possess a good balance of both feminine and masculine qualities within themselves. By adopting this approach, your outfit will appear more cohesive because both pieces will exhibit a balanced aesthetic that complements each other, creating a harmonious overall look. We have another example for you. Let's take a look at this sweater. Applying what we've learned in the last section, do you think this sweater holds a balance of feminine and masculine traits? Yes or no? If you've guessed yes, 
then you are correct. This sweater beautifully strikes a balance between femme and mass traits, making it a suitable choice for those with more feminine features. When we dissect the four aspects we discussed earlier, it becomes evident that this sweater leans more towards feminine qualities. The overall cut of the blouse is straight, but the addition of puff sleeves introduces a softer and more feminine touch. This infusion of femininity blends seamlessly with the masculine aspects. Additionally, the absence of prints and the use of a solid light pink fabric subtly introduce a touch of masculinity into the overall girly vibes. When compared to the other sweaters, the distinction is clear. The pink sweater exudes a more girlish charm than the one on the left and strikes a balance by being more masculine than the one on the right. Okay, coming to the second exercise. If we were to pair this pink sweater with a pair of jeans, which one of these three options do you think is the perfect match to create a gender balanced look? Answer revealed. The most suitable jeans to match are the straight cut ankle jeans. This choice aligns with the goal of achieving a harmonious balance between the sweater and the jeans, taking into account the gender traits of the bottom piece. The boyfriend jeans, characterized by their straight and less form-fitting structure, thicker fabric, and relaxed vibes, exude a more masculine feel. On the other hand, the skinny jeans, with their softer fabric that clings to the skin and accentuates curves, appear more feminine. Lastly, the straight-cut ankle jeans strike a balance with their relaxed fit and shorter length, revealing some skin at the ankle, which introduces a touch of femininity to the overall look while complementing the sweater's feminine traits. When both of these pieces lean towards the feminine side and share the same balance of gender traits, it indeed harmonizes the overall outfit beautifully. Now, let's consider matching inner and outerwear. During the fall season, some of us adore wearing a dress and pairing it with a trench coat for warmth. In this case, we have a dress that carries feminine qualities. Let's explore which of the three different trench coats below you believe is the most suitable choice. Have you made up your mind? The answer is the coat on your left. Let's break down the reasoning behind this choice. If we closely examine the fabric material of these trench coats, we notice a gradual transition from soft to structured from left to right. Additionally, the decorative elements representing masculine energy are progressively added to the coats. As a result, the overall aesthetics of these pieces become more masculine in a gradual fashion. However, it's important to consider the thickness of the fabric when pairing it with dresses, especially those with a higher level of feminine traits. Opting for trench coats with thicker or overly structured materials, along with excessive masculine decorative elements like epaulettes or military-inspired designs, may create a stark contrast with your dresses and give an overly masculine appearance that doesn't harmonize well with them. Finally, we have arrived at the last part of our video, how to align your visual aesthetics or archetypes with your dressing style. In our previous videos, we have explored various aspects of understanding your visual aesthetics, such as the video on facial gender and another on makeup archetypes based on your facial features. If you've watched these videos and have identified your facial aesthetics, this section will be easier to navigate. However, if you haven't done so, it's highly recommended to watch these videos to gain a better understanding of your features. For those with facial features leaning towards masculinity or specific facial archetypes, like gaming, modern, and dramatic, these features tend to complement dressing styles with a more masculine aura. But does that mean you should avoid wearing dresses and lace altogether? Certainly not. Remember the four main aspects we discussed in the first section of this video. Always consider the first aspect. The structure of your garment should feature straighter and cleaner cuts to maintain the masculine undertones of your outfit. Then, you can introduce one or two feminine aspects, whether it's through color, prints, materials, or decorative elements. This one plus two formula makes it easier to strike a harmonious balance that complements your facial aesthetics. If we apply this formula to the selection of blouses, the fourth and fifth options are better choices to enhance your style. Keeping this approach in mind while shopping for any outfit items in the future can make you a smarter shopper, ensuring that you never purchase garments that end up sitting in your wardrobe collecting dust. Another foolproof approach is to keep in mind that you're looking for garments with clean cuts and structured materials. These two aspects generally establish the fundamental masculine tone of the outfit. Then, you can adjust the level of femininity in this piece by considering factors such as color, prints, 
and adding feminine decorative elements that aren't too overpowering. Just like the example shown here, the top and bottom pieces carry the masculine undertone. Adding mild feminine decorative elements, such as puffy sleeves and a line flare, balances out the masculine aura. However, if you prefer a softer and more flowy drape in your outfits, make sure to balance this aspect by ensuring that other elements lean towards the masculine traits to maintain a sense of harmony and softness in your look. On the other hand, if you identify with a feminine visual category or your archetypes align with romantic, ingenue, or elegant styles, then feminine dressing styles will be more suitable for you. If you have feminine features but want to dress in a way that's less overtly feminine to exude sophistication and a goddess-like aura, always opt for pieces with cleaner cuts and overall structure. The same 1 plus 2 formula applies here. The undertone of your outfit leans towards the feminine, while you can add two masculine aspects to balance it out. This creates a look that's less feminine but still girly enough to complement your beauty and style. As mentioned earlier, the easiest approach is to ensure that the structure of the garment leans towards masculine traits. When you add other feminine elements to the piece, such as color, prints, or decorative elements, they won't appear too overpowering, creating a well-balanced and harmonious overall look. For example, the floral print dress on the right would be a more suitable choice for individuals who prefer girly styles. If you aim to achieve a good balance in your dressing style, the right dress might have excessive feminine elements in one outfit, which can overemphasize the femininity of the overall look. Regarding fabric material, it's crucial to strike a balance. Fabric that is overly thin and clings to the skin lacks structure and texture, while fabric that is too thick can appear heavy, especially for petite body shapes, giving the impression of wearing a suit of armor. In terms of color, prints, and decorative elements, you can gradually add or remove them based on how mature or youthful you want your style to be. If you're aiming for a more energetic and ingenue look, you can incorporate more elements into your outfit. Last but not least, if you find that your visual archetype falls somewhere between masculine and feminine, or you align more with the natural or classic archetype, don't worry. This means you have even more styling options to explore. Simply focus on garments that strike a good balance between masculine and feminine undertones. To create a harmonious look, always pair clothing items that share similar traits together, as we discussed in the previous section. Furthermore, your makeup style and demeanor can significantly impact how you present yourself. You can make adjustments in these areas to better align with your styling needs. For instance, opting for eye makeup styles that widen the eyes to create a round and doe-eyed appearance tends to give a softer expression, which complements a feminine dressing style. Conversely, Makeup looks with lifted and elongated eye shapes can exude a cool and edgy aura, aligning with the energy of masculine dressing styles. However, there are no hard and fast rules, and the possibilities are endless. You can always experiment with the pieces in your wardrobe, occasionally pairing ultra-feminine or masculine items together. This collision of gender elements can lead to impressive and unexpected styles. In summary, Having a grasp of the balance of gender traits present in your clothing pieces is immensely helpful in creating looks that align with your preferred style and visual archetype. Often, when we discuss mixing and matching pieces from both genders, we tend to focus on adding a bold masculine or feminine garment to create contrast in our looks. This isn't to say that we shouldn't do this, but it may be less practical for our everyday looks and may not suit our specific visual types. Remember that confidence is the key to owning your style. You have the freedom to wear whatever you wish, and this guide is here to assist you in finding your unique fashion journey. There are no rules carved in stone, but only possibilities waiting to be explored. So, embrace your individuality, experiment, and let your style evolve with you. We have also made a video on dressing according to your body type if you want to learn more about styling. If you're interested, do check out this video. Whether you lean towards the feminine, masculine, or find yourself somewhere in between, your styling choices are a canvas for self-expression. Hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye!